365 sophomore from North Cross, Georgia, number three, Jeremy Lamb. Getting to the rim, but not finishing. Oh, the look away pass. Drummond gives it up to Lamb. He'll fire it and drain it. That's a two in the lane. Stop lost it. Now the run out for Connecticut. They've got some numbers. Quick dish. Lamb to finish Napier, and they need a timeout on the Columbia side. A long one and partially deflected. Sepka is a big oh. kid, and there's a nice stab there by Lamb to lay it in after collecting it. Box to box on a ball reversal. Lamb fires a three. A lot of iron. Oh, what a pretty roll. Can't cash in. One and done. Mm. Here's a head and shoulder move. Bobby Orr style. Lamb says this is how it's done from about 27 feet. Well, they make you pay, don't they? Before halftime, Lamb, a little crossover, gets it from three. What does that hurt? Oh. Ooh, big time. There's a future great. Pretty good now. And now UConn looking to get their offense back in gear. It has stalled here at this point in the second half. Here's Lamb to lift and got it. See that? that? Blue girl. Yes, that's correct. Oh, on the stuff, there's Lamb. For sure. That he has. Hey, you just can't. Oh, bring it. Bring it on home. And a foul as well. Open the paddock. Goodness gracious. He liked that himself. He got a smile. Oh. Wow. Cock that baby. Ooh, send it in. It's another year and a better player. 57 46. Columbia still hanging around, but shots like that will hurt Lamb again on target. Olander trying to swing it, does. He finds Lamb open again for three. How pretty was that? Diagonal look by Olander. Unselfish play. Here's Drummond in traffic, puts up a shot. No good. And kept alive. Lamb, I believe, came up with it, and he's able to bank it in. Half court game, which is more the type of tempo that Wagner would like to play. Lamb steps in on the pull up. And there's Lamb on the drive. Fade away by Lamb off the front rim. Drummond kind of knock it back in. Lamb came off of it, and he drops it home. Pretty much all jump shots, one and you're done right now for Wagner. Going to try to get it to the goal next time. Lamb turns and triggers a three. He can really light it up. Big assignment for Chris Martin right now, trying to deal with Napier. Here's Lamb off balance jumper, good. In that game two seasons ago, I mean last year, Oriaki had 14 boards against this team. Lamb mid-range jumper suited for either Napier or Lamb in the guard spots. Here's Lamb on the runner, and he uh -oh. floats it in. Fatigue. Certainly think so, right? Fatigue. 8-2 UConn run to open the second half. Lamb makes it 10-2. Now there's a nice move, and they are going after it. Lamb looks like he's charged. Wow. Big time rebound on the weak side. Ankle or knee? Razor tried to hit the post, and the post hit back. <laughs> Lamb, ho oh, ho! Talk With about floating back. As this season progresses. Yeah, the, and and you add uh, Raheem and also Rogers, you got a nice four guard rotation. Oh my! Body controlled by Lamb. Cato picks up his fifth foul on the play. Nice split. Shooting it on the way down avoids the foul. Very nice. Are we playing running time? Because the clock's running right now. Napier to Lamb. Lamb will fire up the jump shot over William Eagles to have pulled even at 34. After leading by 13. Lamb! Tested that ankle on that move to the rim. Napier. Back to Lamb for three. You knew that one was going to go heels on the opposite wing. Is it easier or harder to go back door against the zone? Tougher. Tougher to go against the zone. More help there. Oh, there he is again. Lamb. What a 
finish. Well, that's why the man's in the Hall of Fame. And the huddle just said, look, just pass it around a few times and give it the number three and let's get out of here. PNC on this Sunday afternoon in Hartford. UConn trying to begin the season 4 0. Lamb has hit three straight threes. End of first half, beginning of second. The three. Gallo just throws up the three pointer. Napier in transition to Lamb for 16 points. 60% from three point range early in the season. He took one from about 30 in the first half. He's confident. <laughs> Lamb catch and shoot. He's got 18 points. And 14 of them have come in the last six minutes. Napier's been great today. Boat right the winner of the Illinois Mr. Basketball Award. He shared it. Jeremy Lamb has now hit his last seven shots. Napier ahead to Lamb. <laughs> I thought with the ankle he might say, here, Roscoe, you do it. He said, but I certainly am familiar with it. I saw him play in high school. I knew he was a bit out of our recruiting level. Nice backdoor cut by Lamb, and he finishes. His brother Jeff, why don't you just come and check out UCF? And turns out Jeff liked it as much as Marcus did. As Lamb, we're right along the baseline. It's Lamb one on one against Marcus Jordan. Steps back, squares up, and knocks it down. The balance, Dave. Lamb says, I'll take this. Knocks it down. Well, he just he doesn't need much separation, no. does he? Lamb. Oh. He gives a little scream and right in front of our broadcast position here after he knocked that one down. Now Lamb. And it duck up and under, but recovers and floats it over James. So Lander with the rebound for UConn. Lamb, so smooth. <laughs> he had to get him made. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of the half. Lamb with a long floater. Knocks it down. Hit on the arm, and they didn't call it. Young fella's got to earn it. Jeremy Lamb making up for it with three seconds to go on the shot clock. Now Lamb knocks it down. Go right in the corner, swings it out. Lamb with the floater. Boy, he is so good at that. Terrific touch. The forehead. Underneath the Lamb, there it is from straight out top. Jabez Napier delivers. So many options to go to. Pretty, pretty, pretty. High off the window, Lamb. Just bring it to your waist. You'll never keep it. And Lamb fills it up from three. Timeout, Arkansas. Lamb with seven. Oh, Lamb is deep. Oh, doesn't matter. So much for extending the D. To go, ball bouncing around, and Nobles had it whacked away. Boat right now. Ooh. Lamb, look out. Say good night. He fills, and the recognition. Arkansas jumped out to the 8-1 lead. UConn has really settled down, and they're led by Jeremy Lamb. There's nothing prettier than a lamb on the run, and this guy on both ends of the floor is extraordinary. Has a great feel. His ability in the open floor we've seen on numerous occasions, but getting the puppies organized and drilling from deep. Defensively, he's had some good blocks. Nice feel. Get it to the guy who can stick it in. Hang on to the chandeliers. Woo. Did he bring it off? I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but if you play hard and well, you'll get the minutes like this guy deserves. That's where he's tucked that little curl and the float. Oh, my God. Is that pretty beautiful? In the Bahamas to set forward of his turnovers at the corner. Back to our cut for Jeremy Lamb. They're just so explosive, though. Was a get for Tom Crean to keep a Zeller at home. Lamb, there's a get for Jim Calhoun as the sophomore knocks down a three and he can't knock it down. Lamb tries a quick trigger and he's got a three. Lander, Oriaki, Rock, Roscoe Smith with their, their size and athleticism underneath. But the three point shot and now the drive by Lamb. A freshman as well. Freshman. 
I saw a sophomore that's pretty big and pretty good last night in Myers Leonard as well. How smooth is Jeremy Lamb? Saunders turns it over. Boatwright in transition. Sets up Lamb. Got a three. Timeout Harvard. Ten on the shot clock. Lamb. Right down the lane. Just to run the show and have the team get used to hearing his voice as Lamb takes the corner three. Smooth. Boat right. Had Lamb. Decides not to make the pass. Now he gets it to Lamb. Two in a row. Absolutely. Just like that, it's a 16-point lead for Lamb and the Huskies. Well, so some teams maybe picked to finish in the bottom half of that Big East Conference have gotten off to pretty good starts in the non-conference. Tough to defend that. Rebound. quickly the other way. Lamb lets it fly. So smooth. Team that there's still over 11 minutes to play. Lamb gets a step right down the baseline. Holds on. He's got numbers. Lamb. Lamb was telling us before the game at the shoot around today, he'd love to hand the keys to this team to Victor Ruddy. He thinks he has that kind of talent, like a Jeremy Lamb. <laughs> what a move! Check this out. Watch his left hand. 6'6. Six, six. Is this smooth or what? That is a very difficult shot. Daniels, coast to coast, blocked by Fitzpatrick. And how about that? He needs to insert himself more. Tense situations, he's just kind of floating around. Here he is, right on cue, Bob. Enough, that's what they were forced to do the last time they played and ended up winning in overtime. And that's what Fab Mello is doing for Syracuse. There's, there's what I'm talking about. Last two possessions, right? Collins out, Nash in for point guard for the Bulls. Lamb feeling it for three. Well, there's the All-American that we've been thinking about watching. Trying to get Lamb here on single screens. Lamb. <laughs> yeah, and they're going deep into the shot clock every time. Five on the shot clock. Lamb somehow throws it up and finds the bottom of the net. It's a two possession ball game. Lamb, step back. Smooth as set. Right guy. Right shot. Shot clock down to seven. Boatwright thought about it. Deep three by Lamb. Guards oh. Napier and Boatwright on the floor together today. Well, you know, I like it a lot on the offensive end as we see Lamb starting to feel good from beyond the arc. He's start his college career year ahead of the time. And there was a chance, had the new collective bargaining agreement been a little bit different, that he might have been here for two years. See if they can find Drummond on that alley oop again. Instead, kick out Lamb for three. That'll work. Here's Lamb. Now here's St. John's trying to trap. They'll give it a Lamb. It was so good for them early on. And you take a look at Jeremy Lamb here, and we talked about the multiple weapons that UConn has on the offensive end. So when you switch to UConn, and they have to feel really good about where they are, only one loss on the season. And, and the three-point is up significantly as well. He's a great player. There's Lamb showing some levity right there. Lamb stops, pops. Get out of here. Lamb with the open shot. As expected, brings it up. It's a three. He's got eight. <laughs> They've got Boatwright and Napier in the game at the same time, along with Lamb. This should be their best ball handling team. Lamb pulls the trigger. Boy, he's smooth. He's in double figures with 11. But now they've got eight guys. Jeremy Poor is making uh, a dent. Mobley's making a dent. Freddie Wilson's getting in the game and doing pretty well. There's a little teardrop. A little runner by Lamb. Now he's got 13 in the game. Just an inbounds play. Lamb catch, shoot, scores. Bucket and a foul. Olander is in the game. They run smoothly on offense when he's in there. Lamb open, knocks it down. It's a three. 
Another good defensive set here under 10. They're trapping ball screens. Lamb, nice move to the bucket this season at 29 at Rutgers and 25 in their win Saturday against Georgetown. Nice cut here again. The one on one was the ability of Jeremy to set his guy up and get free. It's a little screen away, puts it on the deck. Jay, I just like, I, I don't know if he's fast enough for the eye. You know, Jimmy says he's got to play faster. I think he's a glider, but gets there. Well, let's see, as Len Elmore said, if UConn can get rid of the disjointed offense, that's a good way to start. Give it a land and let him go. He buries a three. Scholarship became available I mean, a lot of coaches have had that happen in their career <laughs> lamb rattles one home nice start to the half for connecticut back within one Duke english came to this country to go to mountain state academy prep school in beckley west virginia lamb down the lane and scores Didn't straight in the loss column for the defending national champs that'll bring them to life Lamb off the perfect pass from Shabazz Napier. Just a nice little anticipation of going one way. Nice reaction. It's a step and go, and yep. you got to get more pressure on the ball. I mean, you just can't let Napier out there pick you apart. Nice job by Nor Noreen to shut that lane down. Drummond had a dunk. Lamb for three. Wow. He gathers those puppies. Shaking the shoulder, you know he can beat you with the bounce. Lamb had trouble on the handoff as Bryant defended. And Lamb smoothly done from the elbow. He, he, Too long. Bryant had a nice. blocked by Drummond who retained possession, and UConn will be a winner. Hard fought. Wow. What a good one. A lot of dribbling by Connecticut as Lamb gets free and hits the free throw line jumper. And tapped out and tracked down by Lamb. Lamb moving beautifully off screens and buries a long two. Martin tried to kick it out. Lamb with a steal. Atkins will try to catch up, but Lamb able to get through the lane and lay it in. Second shot offense with Oriaki on the board. Finally, the game's first points are scored by Jeremy Lamb. Lamb forces it up and gets it to go. And was looking for an and one as well. Lamb has four. Seven threes in the first half for Cincinnati. Lamb, step back three. Got it. Uh, so nice. Kilpatrick tries to quiet the crowd and can't. Blocked inside. Here comes Lamb in transition. He lays it in. Find out your medal as a team on the road. So far their marquee road win, obviously, at Pittsburgh. Lamb can't hit the floater. His follow goes. Boy, you blink. It was double digits for Cincinnati, and now it's down to two. Yeah. McCray just into the game. He can't connect. Neils Defy gets it to Napier quickly. Boy, does Lamb just jet down the floor in a hurry to get his first bucket. Shot clock under 10 for Jeremy Lamb. And they're starting to get a little bit of a rhythm. Lamb trying to do it on his own. Right to the rack. What a move oh, oh. off the glass. That's big time. Lamb, a floater. Oh, oh. Boy, you run a double team at him, he'll carve it up to be the three. He does. He really does. Lamb all the way to the rack. Boy, he is a soft, silent assassin, isn't he? Ooh. An 11-4 run for the Vols. Lamb takes it. Boy, do they need that. Of every player really short of this one, Jeremy Lamb. He knows what to do with it. <laughs> this young man is silky smooth yeah. out on the floor. Yeah. Really, in this game where Jeremy Lamb, a 1-4 flat, he's able to beat his man and then get to the rim before the help's able to get there. Impressive. I tell you, a lot of pressure on this young man, but he is so skilled. They need a hoop and a quick timeout. Lamb launches. Got it. Boat right. Still looking for his first shot. Lamb will take it deep. He hits it. 
That's the first rhythm shot that they've taken in this game so far. Well there, did he? Certainly did. Too quick lead. Lamb looking for an opening. Doesn't need it. He's got that little stop runner. See, I like this. So Atkins was saying, kind of bittersweet watching UConn win the national championship. He's number three. Knocks down another one. He's got seven. Lamb deep. Lamb is good for three. That's a good idea. That'll work. I don't know how many times they've had a brand new 35 second clock on this half alone. Lamb now with 12. Lamb off the dribble. That's a three. So you know about Rose Royce because you drive that. <laughs> Only when I borrow yours. <laughs> Jeremy Lamb allowed to shoot from the top of the three-point arc. The defense inattentive. I don't think there's been any chance to say anything. <laughs> Olander, and there's Lamb to flush it. Lamb says, I can't make a jumper tonight. I'll measure the way to get an offensive rebound. Lamb for three. Yes. He's Thompson missed a three that would have brought the house down. A rare fast break. That's Connecticut basketball. Five on the shot clock. Lamb's going to have to let it fly. Just like they drew it up. <laughs> Four losses in a row, five losses in a row for these two teams. Lamb driving. Hits. Might be a combination of both. Mentally, they might have put this one in the win column already. Eight turnovers this half for Lamb and the Huskies. None there, though. By Seva, intercepted by Drummond. Four on three break for the Huskies. Lamb, and there it is. Jeremy Lamb finally has his first points of the night. A nice spread. Nice crowd does too. Oriaki. Nice, nice pass. Boat right underneath to Lamb. Lamb quiets the crowd. The basket counts. Trap on Lamb. Boat right. Hesitation. Olander back outside. Jeremy Lamb. Three. Oh, that's great work, Steve. I tell you what. Olander showed tremendous. Lamb. Beauty. Whoa. They got more guys that can do it. And as a result, they're hanging around the Huskies. And the Huskies are 7 to 15. Here's the by Andre Drummond. It's a part of the game he's been working on, 15 to 18 feet. And a rebound for Lamb. Lamb, the pull-up jumper is good. Find a way to get that defensive rebound, giving UConn this extra opportunity. Jeremy Lamb from 15 off the curl. A staple of what? Drummond. Napier, what a pass for Jeremy Lamb! Leads to Paul. These two teamed up last year for a national championship. That is a beautiful pass. And a nice finish as well. Got off that great start in the first half. Then they kind of hit a slump. Jeremy Lamb. And that's going to be goaltending in his career here at Connecticut. Jeremy Lamb for three. Got it. Jeremy Lamb now with 13 points on the night. Lamb gets the inbound, he puts it in. This one here for DePaul. Lamb. Jeremy Lamb, the mid-range game, seems like a lost art. And he barks at Olander, and they're still jawing at each other. Here's Jeremy Lamb, been struggling a bit, but able to knock it down. He certainly is talented. Please hear many of whom are watching Andre Drummond. But Darius Johnson owed him an interesting player at 6-2 as Lamb hits. He's another guy the scouts have their eyes on. Johnson Odom has already attempted as many shots as Connecticut has as a team. Six. Here's Lamb. And Jeremy Lamb is three for three. Coming in, fifth in the Big East in scoring. Jeremy Lamb 
has six points to lead the way for the Huskies. They're trying to get it to him here off the screen. Lamb fires and connects. He's 4-4. Four four. Short that time. Napier rebounds. Numbers for UConn. Here's Lamb for three. It's good. Here's Johnson Odom. Got stripped by Napier. Blue will chase behind the back to Lamb. And Napier just playing with great pace right now, anticipating a little crossover dribble, clean poke away, gets him in transition. Nice little distri distribution to Jeremy Lamb, and tell you what, that's just great feel for who's following you in that particular opportunity. This year, you can see why they got 21 wins. The way they play, both ends of the floor, a very good team is Lamb. Hands a three. Big shot for Jeremy Lamb. You know, after something great happens, you can he you can't hear, but you can hear just about everything, including the the sneaker squeak, and you can't hear UConn players. They don't talk. They don't say anything. Mm -hmm. Lamb to the bucket. There you go. A little run out. Put it on the deck and get to the ten. Who thought that that team was going to be ranked in the top twenty later on in the year? Incredible job. Nice run out here. Gold right took it away. It wound up with Lamb on the dunk. Connecticut on a thirteen to two run. Sheik hasn't missed a shot. Four for four from the floor and two out of two from the line. Mm. Lamb heating it up. Mm. I'd like to confuse you. That's easily done. <laughs> and Lamb a deep two, and there's the lead for Connecticut. All the way back from 18 down, four minutes gone by, second half. Lamb for three. Amazing. Pretty. He uses screens, gets those puppies organized. Double stack, he can come off the double side of the single, run that in the NBA. Nice line. play, what a work. Cut across the top and then get your head turned. And then the acknowledgement. In Big East play, both teams an eye on seeding in the upcoming Big East tournament in early March, starting March 6th. Madison Square Garden, Lamb counts the bucket. Right, he really had to fight off Dominic <laughs> Cheek. Work, Cheek huh? was really getting right into his body and he turned into that pressure. And I think he easily could have called a foul there, but the uh, came over. That was a really nice finish. The cheek peaked and the Lamb took advantage. No cruel. You know, going for that fake instead of staying between your man and the basket, you've got him to pick up his dribble. What a fake by Lamb. Yeah, Cheek oh. tried to get in the passing lane anticipating the pass. He does not. And Sutton's done a nice job taking over. You have to have that duck in. Cheek yelling at John Higgins, he wanted a five count. Oof. Didn't get it, and Lamb scored even after all that hard work. Oh, the same play, the same gamble. Yeah, Cheek went for oh. it and got burned again. A three for Jeremy Lamb. Hope you can play that. Limited some close games and have always found a way to win. And that's part of the leadership of the Hall of Fame coach. Lamb follows it up and taps it home. What an acrobatic play. Probably don't. Jardine, an off-balance jumper. Nobody rotates back, and Lamb lays it in. You know, they beat him down the court. So active in that zone. They knew they were going to get the best shot out of Connecticut, and they responded here on the road. Lamb. And he banks in a three. That's amazing. Are you kidding me? Jardine or Trish in a while. Really matching up on the threes. Connecticut, not a good three-point shooting team. Oh, well, Lamb Lamb. knocks one down. Well, he's capable. Yep. All year, they have really struggled rebounding the basketball. Well, Smith had a wide-open shot, didn't realize it. Now Lamb finds the open space. He can score. He's a flat-out scorer. I need to come out, grimacing a little bit. A steal by Lamb. Hey, a little spark here for UConn. I should have dunked it. Napier behind the back to Lamb. Count it. What a terrific pass by Napier. Great assist. Good vision. And look at the whiteout. That jumper with joy, baby. Bolt right. Back for Lamb. Lamb around the Drummond screen. There's the first two for the sophomore from Georgia, Jeremy Lamb. Through the hands of Boatwright. Lamb calling for it. Council out there quickly on him. Lamb now maybe starting to heat up. Four points for Jeremy Lamb after a slow start. Game that Jeremy Lamb just hasn't been a factor. He's got to step up for the Huskies. There he is on the turnaround. 4-2. Heard me. Providence somehow got a shot off with one on the shot 
clock, and it could be the Friars' night. Lamb says not so fast. And a good job as an assistant and also as the acting head coach with Calhoun out. Here's Lamb. Beautiful drive by Jeremy Lamb. They set him up for the jump shot with a... And a steal by Jeremy Lamb. And the finish. Four points for Lamb and a timeout by... He said, when I look at VCU, he said, clearly they're better than Northwestern. So if it, you know, you do those blind resumes, the reality is those blind resumes only tell you so much. I just... Lamb, when the layup is pit, did not get back on defense. Can't relax. Napier, his presence was sorely missed. He responded with Calhoun back on Saturday with a terrific game as Lamb. Here's Lamb for three. And Jeremy Lamb has been struggling with his shot the last few games. So no backing up. You know, Billy Garrett described it as looking your opponent in the eye and saying, we're ready to play. Lamb with the answer. A great start for Jeremy Lamb. UConn with the ball leading by three. Here's an alley-oop to Lamb, and he's fouled and gets the bounce. A three-point opportunity for Lamb. Rebound Oriaki. UConn looking to run. Here's Lamb in transition. Gets right past Kelly. Yep. Under Kino. They just couldn't guard anybody. Melvin got his own miss. He's got five points. Here's Lamb again. Another uncontested three. Connecticut. 10 seconds left. They get it to Lamb down the lane. Beautiful. Jeremy Lamb with 17 points. That the part of Kemba's brilliance was as much about his personality as it was his basketball skill as Lamb gets another one. Over in transition. Boy, Young and Kelly have been all good all year with the ball. But today they've not been. Look at that. A turnover totally switches, and now you got to burn another timeout. And finally, Bolt right out of there with it. Ahead to Lamb. Great catch and finish. Timeout to Paul as the lead is back to 15 for Connecticut. Two all time behind Jim Behan. Here's Lamb defended by Bryant. Lamb able to rise up over him and score. Well, sort of in quiet fashion. And to that point, Doris, he had just one 30 point game as Lamb gets inside and scores. Commercial non goaltend call up at the dome. Here's Lamb wide open. And Lamb hits a three. He's got seven. Paint touches. That's just paint touches. Absorb some bumps and play through it. And you know, we've got two teams willing to do both. Lamb with a step back. And oh. Jeremy Lamb with nine. He had 17 in the first half yesterday on his way to 25 points. And he that Kevin Jones is in. What he's done with the Mountaineers. Here's Lamb. Shot clock at four, trying to create space. Got down the lane and a three point opportunity. Wow, what a play by Jeremy Lamb. His handle is very good. Look at this. Crosses him over first. Comes back the other direction. Realizes then he's got the step and then the length to finish. I mean, this guy, well, I'll tell you what. He is lean but wiry strong and just has a well-diversified offensive game. 20 points per game on the year. And only one 30-point game, which means he didn't have a lot of games under 15. As Jeremy Lamb strikes again a three. And Lamb has 15 here in the second half. Napier will try another long three. Short that time. Oriaki had it taken away, but into the hands of Napier. And the lob to Lamb. Crowder, I think it's an excellent selection. Agreed. Here's Lamb with the short J. Gets the bounce. So smooth. And Lamb with back to back buckets now has 19. Yeah, one. Lamb off the screen, turns and fires. And connects! A play for Jeremy Lamb! It's a play they run over and over and over again, folks, okay? Just a, a little run from one side of the floor to the other. They try to use Drummond's size. And Napier, yeah, he knows. Three goggles are up. Yes, sir, we see you. <laughs> Two key here. Boat right. Got a sprained right wrist after falling yesterday. And Lamb ties the game with a three. Explosive, both in speed and strength. They have so many weapons on this Syracuse team. Offensively, here's Lamb from Olander. 
Jeremy Lamb with five out of the ten, UConn points. There's a reason. I know he's paid the price in the gym, he's tried to get better, but that's not the look you want, not when you're struggling. Lamb from the corner, cans a triple! Jeremy Lamb, second three, to play either Georgetown or Cincinnati. Lamb, tough shot for Jeremy Lamb. He's got ten. 25 to go first half. Christopher's nice hustle. Loose ball. Three on one. Napier behind the back, got it off the glass. Nice play, heady play right now. And over, he sees it slipping a little bit. Well, the stagger to get Lamb. He's trying to point where he wants it. Over, there you go. Yep. That's what he's got to do. He's back down here, his wrist. And he's got a little uh, bandage on his right wrist anyway. And he's got and a tough time to guard. Yep. Yep. Lamb. There you are. You see, he's now well, he got a shoe loose set up by terrific defense. And back to a 15-point lead for Iowa State. Floater, oh my goodness. Not too bad. He's got that in his arsenal. One of the better ones in the country. Got to get something going out the rim. Lamb, jumper, pull up. Wow. Good. That's for three. State scored seven unanswered and more or less secured the victory. Lamb. Well, why not? My gracious. With the 12th pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select Jeremy Lamb from the University of Connecticut. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Jeremy Lamb played a couple of years at UConn. Averaged nearly 18 points per game this year without Kemba Walker at his side. What do you think of the pick? Well, I like the pick. This guy is very skilled. He's a good character guy, as a lot of the kids in this draft. Uh, he'll fit in there. They need somebody on the wing who can score. They've got some good young players there, Chandler Parsons. You know, guys like that, Goran Dragic. They'll probably trade Kyle Lowry. But I think this is a good addition because he's got a lot of potential. Lowry, guard, who's become a little disgruntled with his situation in Houston, and now you get a terrific shooter. Jeremy's Dan Rolando played college basketball. He hit, hit a game-winning shot for VCU against Jeremy's head coach, Jim Calhoun, when he was at Northeastern, but Lamb's a terrific player, Jay. He is a terrific player. It says 6'5 and a half there, and that's accurate, but he's got a wingspan that makes him 6'11", and he's a guy that also can get his own shot. He's good coming off screens, excellent uh, at mid-range, and he's an athletic player. You know, when he takes it to the basket, he can take it to the basket to dunk. He doesn't do that as much as he pulls up. He usually drives to pull up, and he's a very good shooter and has deep range. He didn't shoot as good a percentage from three this last year as I would have expected, but he's got the ability to knock down mid-range shots, and he's got a quick and high release that I think is going to translate very well into the NBA. And Fran Fraschilli, you've seen a lot of him. Uh, he, he's a very likable player because he's got a lot to offer. I like it, Jay. You said mid-range, and how about this? He shot 60% inside the arc. That's incredible for a guard. The other thing, don't question his toughness. Last year in the NCAA tournament, he bailed out UConn in the Arizona and Butler games. He knows how to play, get, play in big spots. You know, about a month ago, the Rockets called Memphis to see if they could get Rudy Gay. They obviously couldn't do that. I see some similarities, similarities here. He's not quite as big as Rudy Gay, but obviously went to UConn, but he's also a similar type of athletic offensive player. And even the demeanor is similar to, similar to Rudy Gay's. Well, the Suns are on the clock right now. That gives us time to check in with Mark Jones. Jeremy, your father, former player at VCU, uh, does workshops the speaking gigs with players and coaches. How has he guided you through this whole process and gotten you to this point and helped? Ever since I've been young, he just, you know, always said put God first. And I just want to thank, you know, Lord Jesus for, you know, blessing me the way he did. And um, he always been there for me, him and my mom, my brothers and sisters, everybody just, we've been one. All right, congratulations, guys. A minute ago he said, hey, I really got drafted. <laughs> Back to you.